Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. What is up YouTube? So uh recently I I don't even know how to say this. Uh so this is my first video since I hit 1k. Uh so sometime last week I got an email that I've hit 1k and it's a big deal for me because I started this channel uh 10 months ago and I had opened a new email address that I would be like that I would use to do all my tech stuff that is not like my normal my regular email address and the plan was to have a YouTube channel is the main reason why I opened that address and I had opened it sometime in 2018 but I just didn't have the balls to actually you know be like I'm going to start doing YouTube but I got inspired by one of my friends and then I started doing this 10 months ago not not knowing if anybody was even going to pay attention to anything I had to say on YouTube not knowing if anybody even had not knowing if anybody even cared enough to listen to anything I had to say but at least I have a thousand people a thousand is not many don't get me wrong well, that's easy for you to say. but I mean celebrate the small wins right it's still something for me at least I have a thousand people that I, I, that feel like what I put out is something that they care enough about to want to listen to Thank you so much for sticking with me and cheers to 10,000 more. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so today's video is about, I mean, I'm a software engineer, right? So today's video is about a few things that are, that are in my starter kits or whatever. A few things that as a software engineer, I can't do without and I wanted to share with you in case there are some of these things that you know you would kind of want to use as well that you don't currently use or even things that you didn't even think that you needed or you didn't even know existed so let's jump right into the video round and round we go, losing okay so number one is VS Code um, VS Code is one of my favorite code editors I use it i use it to do a bunch of things that's when i'm writing typescript or javascript or even sometimes c sharp um i s just started learning how to use vs code how to use vs code to like do the entire like dot net thing as opposed to using visual studio itself and i'm enjoying it i'm loving it because sometimes <laughs> it's just easier or rather sometimes it's just better for me my other favorite text editor is just one actually is IntelliJ Idea. Um, I used to use it a lot a few years ago. The second thing on my list would be a music streaming service. So whether you're thinking about Apple Music or whether you're thinking about Spotify, whatever it is, as a software engineer, I like to listen to music a lot when I'm in my like coding zone. Sometimes it could even be YouTube. I could be like listening to I could be on youtube.com and then listening to just the songs of the videos that are playing so like whatever it is I just can't do without listening to music when I'm writing code it literally puts me in a mood and I've been like that for god knows how many years um another thing that I would want to say just to back up the music streaming service being as part of my software development starter kit I would want to say I carry my headset wherever I go. It could be my headset, it could be my AirPods, it could be my earphones, but something that would allow me enjoy my music without disturbing everybody else. So yes, mostly when I'm in my house though, I would be with my headset a lot more often because I mean, I enjoy it more. But other times, maybe when I'm at the office, when I'm in a public place or anywhere else, I could be using my AirPods or like my normal earphones as well. The third thing for me, or right, the next thing, because I think headsets and music streaming services are like two and three. So yeah, the next thing for me would be Postman. I don't know any backend dev that says that they don't use Postman for anything. Because if you find one, let me know and let me find out the other alternative that they use. Postman has been really good to me in every way and even other developers it doesn't even have to be back-end devs so if I you're communicating with some kind of API some kind of service you might want to like you know hit that endpoint and just 
try and understand what it gives you and postman helps with like apm development testing out your a api development testing out your endpoints and all of that stuff and i think it's an amazing tool so it's definitely going to be one of the tools in my toolbox as well the next thing for me as much as many people hate to use because i think that there was a tweet that went out one time and someone would and someone had asked that what's the best program that exists and i said the command line and one of my friends was like yo like why in the world do you like the command line because it has no gui you can't move things around you can't do this and i'm like i don't know i just really like it and based on that you've never seen me actually using things like github desktop like it's not for me i'd rather just be able to do the most i can do is actually use git through visual studio like that's the most you see me do and in a way, like I actually even still prefer that whole CLI experience. I like PowerShell, I like my terminal on my Mac, and like that's just me, like that's just who I am. So I would definitely want to carry that. For me, command line is an amazing tool. I can like do whatever I want. I can write PowerShell scripts to do whatever I want to do, and it's just nice. I just like it. <laughs> the next thing on my list would be an agile program, um, an agile project management software so depending on maybe who i'm currently working with at the time or where i'm currently working at the time my top three that i've used mostly um would be trello jira and azure Buds, in my opinion uh i mean you can't be doing things and not want to track those things that you're doing and i feel like these tools make it easy for you to properly track what you are doing maybe like track what you're doing during a sprint um what you're currently working on how long it takes what the entire th team is working on you know look at every single task and like track tasks track bugs track the project and track how the project is moving gradually and i think that these are really amazing tools the next one on my list in recent times would be unity i've been doing a whole lot of unity development it's like it's a bittersweet relationship somewhat um before recently the last time i had to do anything in unity was in 2016 um, so yes, it's kind of like being in my toolbox, but it was like at the side pockets, <laughs> but now it's really inside the box. Um, Unity, for those that don't know, um, Unity is a game development software, so you can build, there are other game development engines that exist. Um, there's, you, there's Unreal Engine as well. If there are any ones that you know you come across, let me know in the comments and I could go check them out sometime. The next thing for me would be in my file that works. Really good internet. And why? So that I can have access to the internet. <laughs> because when you think about it, yeah, uh, I want to have good internet so that if I have any issues, for example, I could go do a Google search, you know, I could go to Stack Overflow, I could, ch I could check out GitHub issues and like if those issues have been like resolved and stuff and it's just important to have good internet because even if you aren't doing all these things you know like um an article for example maybe that you wanted to read online or like internet as a software engineer is very important i don't know if you don't have internet i don't know what you're doing and i mean it's not easy to have like great internet in some parts of the world so like a lot of people actually really struggle for that but if you can that's like if you do have good internet like stable internet you are one very lucky human being the next thing on my list would be my google home and this is not even for me as per i am a software engineer and stuff this is for me as in like i am a human being that's living <laughs> Because I, I love my Google Home so much, it helps me do a bunch of things because I'm a really lazy human being. The final thing for me, well this list is not arranged in like chronological order or alphabetical order or order of importance. It's just as it came to me as I was speaking, I was saying it. So yes, one thing I would definitely put in my um, toolbox as well is a communication and collaboration tool. and 
the popular ones you would say slack and microsoft teams um depending on what i'm doing I actually do use both and they are really cool tools and it's something that i would suggest that a bunch of people use now mind you this video is not specific like okay if you're a front-end dev or if you're a back-end dev because i know that if you are a front-end dev and you also happen to be a product designer you'd have things like figma or envision or all these other cool tools in your toolbox as well however these are for me and you will definitely have yours thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you liked it please make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed to me please make sure that you do that the button is here and thank you again i will see you in my next video bye